Stan Jabalisco here to explain the concept of root mean square or RMS power. You may have heard that term from time to time, particularly in the specifications of a audio high fidelity amplification or hi-fi systems, stereo, surround sound, and things like that. Uh, mobile sound systems like you'd find in your car or truck. RMS power. They may talk about an amplifier having a certain RMS power output. Well, technically, RMS, which means root mean square, is a method of determining the DC equivalent voltage or current for an alternating current wave. The DC equivalent or effective voltage or current. And the reason that we use root mean square, it actually means the square root of the average of the squares of all the values in the function of voltage or current. And that particularly is useful when the voltage or current alternates, either positively and negative in polarity, as with voltage, or towards one direction and then the other direction, as with current. When it comes to power, technically you can use the root mean square paradigm to calculate power, but things work out rather differently because power is never negative. Power is always positive. So the root and the square parts of the root mean square paradigm become more or less meaningless or useless or redundant uh, when it comes to a quantity that's always positive. All it really means is the mean or the average power. And that is what you should really think of when you hear the term RMS power. It's being used somewhat erroneously. It does have a technical meaning. It, I mean, it is a perfectly meaningful thing to say, but it's just kind of overkill. What really is meant is average or mean power. And that uh, can vary considerably depending on what kind of an amplifier you're using. It may be only a fraction of a watt for something that drives a, a headset, or it may be several hundreds or even thousands of watts for big hi-fi systems or the amplifiers used by popular music bands. So average power is what is really meant when they use this term RMS power. The ratio of the average to the peak power, or maybe we would be better off saying the ratio of the peak to the average power, is a whole nother deal. Peak versus average power is a topic for a whole nother video, which I hope to do before too long. In fact, by the time you watch this, you may find it in this uh, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics uh, miscellany playlist. Peak versus average power. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Now I hope you know what they mean when they say RMS power. They really mean average power for all intents and purposes. So long.